Hi everyone, welcome back to U-Boat. Here we are. If you remember last time, we just attacked those um, convoy ships, or a, little, a mini convoy, those three uh, cargo ships, just on the uh, the north northern Irish coast here. We're now pulling away from them. Obviously, our main um, priority is to reach Belfast Harbour. Um, so we'll start planning our way down there. Um, it's uh, also time. It's midday, so uh, things are... It's lovely out, look. We've got some um, lovely sunny day, you can see for miles, got the watch crew in their red and blue uh, tops, just not to be um, misidentified. Just, I'm just not looking at my ship and looking how scruffy it is. First of all, the gun's all off to one side. The crew is, or the watch crew is all on one side of the ship. Where's our rubber dinghy gone? We've got the, the two boxes, but we seem to have lost our rubber dinghy, which is a bit of a shame. But other than that, it's uh, it's it's glorious. Right, we're going to press on then. Uh, now that I've um, set the scene, and uh, oh, the other thing is obviously to wish you um, many thanks for uh, the continued support for this series. I'm glad to see you're still enjoying it, despite my um, rather ham-fisted attempts to play it. Uh, as always, want to see some more. Show support for the series. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the share button. Share on social media. And uh, if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. Right. Uh, course has been plotted we're going to get away from those because no doubt there's probably going to be some um, interest in this whether it be aircraft or a con uh, a corvette or two come to investigate what's going on um, since our last episode there was a patch dropped last week and that has in so so they say improved the AI response um, ships will send out uh, radio messages, ships will respond, aircraft will respond. It's supposed to be a little bit more challenging. First time playing since that new patch, so we'll, we'll check it out. Uh, let's press on and see what happens. Hi right, everyone, right, it's getting dark. It's, um, we're just approaching the shore, as you can see, we're just uh, changing time compression. Uh, you can see the shore in the background, or you might just be able to. It's very gone very dark, so let's get the boat ready. Let's get did. the old um, nightlight going so we can see in the dark. Uh, and in fact, Captain, let's get the... Um, we're coming up to the, the mouth of the, the estuary here, so let's get the snorkel up. And with the setting sun, what we can do is we'll go in periscope depth to snorkel up uh, might give us a little bit more um, protection brilliant right let's go periscope depth uh, and I'll show you where we are so we're just coming into the mouth of the estuary here so um, yeah we're gonna come down here snorkel depth or oh, so periscope depth with the snorkel up um, oh it's not it's not the deepest Wow, that we we may not be able to go snorkel up at periscope depth for too long, because that seems incredibly shallow in there. But we'll we're coming in at night. It, well, just before um, the sun sets and it becomes night time. So um, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll uh, be able to get away with this. Um, I'm going to put one of my radio guys to, to sleep, not in the t like not euthanasia or anything. Just he looks tired. I've got both of them quite tired, so we'll put the radio guy to sleep so we can still have the um, uh, Wagner, you go into the uh, onto the hydrophone and listen to see if there's anything. Does that work? Yes, he's now gone on the hydrophone. Uh, we'll see how, how big this expands. If it doesn't expand very far, we've still got the captain on the, uh, the observation periscope. Yeah, we'll see. Right, we're going to press on. I'll see you in a wee bit. Hi everyone, right, we're just going to electric engines as we're coming in close to the um, the harbour now. The harbour attack has just updated and it says sink two corvette sized or larger ships. So um, let's send the captain up to the, uh, he's gone up to the attack periscope, perfect. 
Well done, Captain. You're well ahead of me. Right. What can your Captain I see? We have a light here. I'm guessing this is a lighthouse. Oh, wait. Yes, it is a lighthouse. Look at that. Through the map. I didn't, I didn't realise. I thought it was just a glitch on the map. No, we can actually zoom in and see the harbour. Oh, wow. It's Belfast. It's, it's massive. Um, which, you know, that makes sense because it's got the famous, uh, is it the Wolf Shipyards in um, Belfast? Famous, famous shipyards. Um, we need to get a little bit closer. Let's, um, there we go. Uh, let's give him a, a person. Hopefully that'll help. Visibility is still bad, but... Um, Have we beached? No, not quite. We are scraping the belly. But we have just got a few inches below us. Crikey. Right. Uh, let's go and see what the captain can see. Right. So looking around the... Um, got a big cliff there. Where's the harbour? Hang on. Um... There you go. We're bringing the periscope to look in front of us now. Let's have a look. What we got here? Warehouses. It's very lit up at night. We got a Corvette there. Corvette there. Corvette or destroyer there. Is that something behind there? Maybe. Uh, gun there, but it would seem. The lighthouse. Oh, some more guns. It's good to see that they're being they fixed that bug where the guns weren't um, being identified. They're being identified now. Remember there was a mission we couldn't identify any guns at the harbour. Right. So we need to go to course uh, three, four, six. Oh, sorry, Captain. I didn't mean to take you off the um, attack periscope. Just just myself. Right then. So we've got the destroyers. Oh, destroyers. Corvettes. We've got one there. We've got one there. Do we have another one back here somewhere? Have we got one in the... I don't know. I thought I saw another one there. Hang on. No, we've got two there. And we've got... Oh, we've got two here. So we've got uh, one, two there. Right, okay. So let's get um, Hilbert on the observation periscope. Let's get you on the... You're on the hydrophone, which is good. We'll get Wolfgang on the radio just just in case we catch any um any transmissions coming in on the engines please uh Larice, you go and warm up the uh, torpedoes right so what we can do is start where are we we're coming in here so if we blah, 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 blah. how do we do this I think we probably try and hit that one and this one so if we come to about there yeah that's probably the way forward so if we get Capitaine you start they're all oh, there's a uh, they're all flower cl class Corvettes apparently so we select that one I'll get you um, working on that one this one over here Okay, um, Hilbert working on it. I'm not sure if Adam's going to actually add much to the... But you can work on that one as well, Adam. Can you? No, he's, he can't. Okay, fine. Fine. Right, so we've got... Ships being identified. We'll let them... Um, we'll move a little bit f closer to the uh, to the area. And um, hopefully, we'll be able to get a couple of shots away. Um, I am aware that the other two Corvettes will most likely come and um, straight at us. In fact, is there a position where we can have a shot at all four? There's five. Where did you come from? Right. Right. Who thought this was a good idea? Right, so if we have a shot at all these three. And then I might nip behind this wall and turn and then try and sneak away. 
That's probably the my best plan of attack at the moment, so um, that's what I'll go with. Right, we'll we'll trundle slowly into position, and uh, join me right back when hopefully we'll be ready to go. There's a chance we may have been detected. <laughs> oh no! Right, Captain, let's have a look then. Is this the one you were? Co who are you? Who are you concentrating on, Captain? I can't remember. Um, Captain was looking at this one here, wasn't he? Yeah, the captain was working on that. That is 94% calculated. Right, torpedo tube one is ready to go. Let's get that flooded then. Tube one has been flooded. Let's fire at that. Let's select this one over here. Can I select this one over here? Torpedo ausrichten. Don't seem to be able to. Hang on. There we go. This one here. There we go. Let's get those two calculated. Torpedo is en route. 30 seconds. Bit of echo now. He's got his. Uh... Oh, hello. He may have spotted us. They're firing at the torpedo. <laughs> I don't think they are. They're just randomly firing. Oh, he blew it in half. Beautiful. Okay. I know we've been detected. And I don't know why, but... Uh, it would seem that we lost all our calculations on, on on this ship here. We should have been calculating this one, but 23% now. We'll send that back. Are these ships starting to move? In fact, let's go reverse one. Slowly start to get out of the area. Uh, we can have a pot shot of this flower class corvette here. Maybe a pot shot of that one as well. And then we'll just run for the hills. Are they stoking their engines? No, they don't seem to be. I can hear the machine guns and the... Uh, the guns firing, but... That was one of the things I was disappointed with, with... Um, when we did the Scapa flow, how quickly the, uh, they managed to stoke the boilers and go instantly get going again. Whereas in, in reality, you know, it took hours to get a, an engine stoked and and sorted. There's one hiding behind there. Anyway, this is the one we're looking at. Uh, it says we're 100% sorted. Are we ready to go? Captain, are we ready to go on that one? Uh, so it's it's this one. No, it's um fifty nine percent. Keep calm. We're halfway to our objective. Um, oxygen is low, so let's turn the ventilation on for a bit. It looks like we got water in here. Is it we got water in here? Or is it just the the weird graphical thing coming through again? Um, West is on the. Uh, the depth gauges so we can um, keep a better control of it. What was I going to do? Uh, Larice? I hope you're warming up torpedoes. You don't seem to be. Um, Muller? Oh yeah, I was going to come and put the ventilation on. Well, that's what I was going to do. Where's the ventilation? It's, uh, it's here. Oh, this device is disabled. Turn on the ventilation. Yeah. A bit of noise would be okay, as long as we get some oxygen... Uh, circulating again. All right, I think this one might know that we're onto her. <laughs> she doesn't look happy. Right. Waiting for um, 
tube 3 to be ready. How are we doing, Larice? How's this? That one. Ooh. She's having a pop chop, but she's uh, she's not ready. You can see the gunner on that one. He's, he's opening up. He's happy. Any of these ships moving? That one's not. That one's not. Anything over there? Oh, she's firing at us, but she's not. Oh, do we just take a strike? Machine gun fire by the sound of it. Possibly. How are we doing, boys? Larice? Oh, we're almost ready with that torpedo. Good man. Right. Uh... Get um yeah, get that one done. Right. Manual mode. Oh, where are we? There, there she is. Torpedo three should be ready. It is. Flooding now. Fire. Right, and if we then go with this one here, Captain. Come. Come. There we go. Uh, let's select this one here. Torpedo course bereit. Torpedo ausrichten. Keep an eye on that one. We are we are slowly reversing away. Tube one is being. Okay. I suppose I can probably put the um, things if they can see the periscope. Unfortunately, they're woeful shots. Um, I was expecting the shell to then strike the lens of the periscope as soon as I said that. Um, it, it, we might be able to put the snorkel up. Um, to um, get some uh, air in here and switch the ventilation off and uh, get the old diesel engines going as well. Come on, Trevor! Sing loudly. It's a long 10 seconds, isn't it? It's a miss! Where did that go? It wasn't a miss! You you blimmin' troll, you dragged me away. Serious damage. Okay. Tell me it's a miss, then in fact it wasn't a miss, and oh honestly. Oh yes, that's serious. She's going down. She's she's not long for this world. Look at that. The guns are stopped at least. Yes. Right, how are we doing with this one? It's not a great angle at all. 13% done. Right, we're, we're backing up slowly. Oh, they're nowhere near us. It's, it's going. Propeller noise. Ah, oh, shh. Propeller noise coming in from behind us. Oh, great. Um, we could turn now then, because there's a good chance that that one is going to sink. And then that'll be our mission complete, but I wouldn't mind. In fact, I'm half tempted to lock onto that. Have we got a torpedo ready? Almost. Is it worth set oh, might send a, might send a cold one down down there just in case you yeah, just to try and finish her off. There's every chance that it might not work, but fire. Right, get back onto this one, calculating that one. Okay, that torpedo must be getting near now. I think something just fell off that ship. Are they people rowing away on a boat? 
could be. They could be abandoning the ship. And they actually go rowing like crazy because they maybe see the other, the other torpedo coming in. Uh, s torpedo? Hello? No countdown, so. What does that mean? The torpedo is li literally there. I wonder if it's a dud. Because it was, um. Luis, come on, man! Warm these torpedoes up, please! Right, we just take we just took a hit. Where's this damage? It's here, right. Um Larice is onto it. With some guys. It's all looking okay. Larice, you, fi you fixing this? Um Replacement parts will be required, yeah? There we go. I thought he was fixing it, but apparently he wasn't. But he's on it now, which is good news. Right. I think we um, zoned out. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and finish... Oh, she's almost gone. Look at that. Let's finish calculating the, this one then. Is she no longer in our scope? I think we just went outside the visual range uh, and then we kind of lost them a little bit. So, but this one's still here, look. Let's continue to plot on that one. S starting again. But you can see the damage there. We're actually resting on the bottom there, are we? Who knows? Larissa's has um, almost got that thing fixed. And everything else seems to be okay. This dude is freaking out a little bit, but thankfully Luis isn't. Um, yeah, and we're all cool and groovy. There we go. A little bit of a drum roll. I think Luis has maybe got a level up or something. But that has now been fixed, which is good. Um, if we get, where are you, Cola, get the pumps going just to get any um, excess water out of the, um, the sub. I know it's going to be a little bit of noise, 3%, come on, it's taking forever. How's that one? She's, she's slowly dying, she's slowly dying, but that is the problem, she is slowly dying. We are making a bit of noise, yes I know. Um, let's have a look. Oh, we got some fast attack craft craft coming in, so they're probably like PT boat type things. Felix, uh, can you warm up a torpedo rather than worrying about the, the those for the moment. God, they're just not doing anything with this, are they? Come on, it's a. Uh, it's not a destroyer. Flower class Corvette. There we go. Right. Um. Let's set this going. Two hundred and forty. No, 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 no. Sorry, hang on. Let's just set that to zero. <laughs> I don't know why. I even know why I did that. Uh, and she is um, pretty much facing us like that. Right. We got a torpedo ready. Yes, we do. Torpedo two oh, one. Good. She's 11 degrees. Yeah, I would say she's about she's about that. Yeah. Right. Fire. Lord. And 
Let's have a look at this one here. Uh, lock. Can't lock on it. I can't lock on this one. Oh, there we go. Lock. Lock. Yeah, got it. Right, let's have a quick look to see if the torpedo gets anywhere near this boat. We'll start identifying this one. Ten Sekunden bis Einschlag. Treffer. Treffer. When the smoke clears, is there anything left? No! Oh, she's gone! Look at that! That was a hell of a hit! Go on, I did that all myself. Right, anyway, back to this one. Um, range is the one we need to work out. Always go the wrong way first. There we go. Torpedo tube 2. We'll fire this and we'll get out of dodge. Thanks. Well done, Larice. Repair complete. Good. Right, periscope down. Okay. Escape from Belfast Harbour. Brilliant. Um, let's do this thing then. Let's go. Um, and we want to keep people off the periscopes, which should be grand. Um, if we give you a couple of guys, can we raid you in the fact that we've completed... Oh, we can't transmit underwater. It does actually say that. I don't know why I thought for some for some reason I could. Um, so we've got a torpedo coming in here and hopefully that should be um, the end of this one. Okay, everyone, we're trying to make our escape uh, from Belfast Harbour. We're bringing it up to the snorkel now. You might think, why? Because I need to, I need the snorkel. Um, we're still here. I'm having to do... Just picture Austin Powers, the golf buggy, in that tunnel. This is... I am doing a million and one point turn to try and get out of this bloody area. Because the water is so shallow. Uh, and this turns like an absolute... Well, it's crap. Let's <laughs> be, be honest, it's absolutely rubbish. Right. So, Carla, uh, can you... Okay, let's come over to the um, the galley and see what we can do in the galley. Um, come over here, sunshine. What have we got in the storeroom? Right, let's get some more meat, uh, and let's get some sausages, and let's get some cans of stuff. Let's get some food rotating around. Um... So we can get some uh, discipline back because our discipline is low at the moment. Batteries are low also. Yes, discipline isn't good. We are visibility is also not very good. But uh, I was hoping if I get the periscope up, we can um, a start charging the engines, but b uh, get some cooking done. Are you actually doing this? Okay, that's in the galley. So hopefully we get some varied diets coming. No. Alarm and fatigue. Right, so let's get some of these guys rested. Uh, Wagner, you go. Uh, let's send... Manfred, you go and um, use the navigation. Wolf gang, you go to bed. Hopefully people will start to be feel a little bit better. We switched that. We switched that off, and we got the periscope, uh, the snorkel up because we don't need it. And they'll make us a little bit quieter as well. Uh, maybe I know it's night time, but maybe if we um, 
put the light blue. It'll chill them out a little bit because we're underwater. Any of this helping? No, not really. Do we have anyone who's going rogue that we can we can have a go at and tell off? And okay, so food has been consumed. Hmm. Yes, I was hoping I could get one of the these guys to do some cooking, but uh, apparently not. Right, how are we doing? How are we doing? Are we slowly getting around? We need to get out of here. Come on. Okay, just in the nick of time, we seem to have dodged it. So, um, Hibbert's decided he's going to cook breakfast, which is grand. Um, we've got Muller here who's playing cards with the men. And that is, seems to have chilled everyone out. Everyone is absolutely delighted now. Um, base has gone plus eight. Fatigue is still minus three. Very dishes. <laughs> Various meats. A meat platter, if you like. Plus 12. The cook being cooking, um, plus seven. And playing cards is also plus seven. So that has had a huge benefit on the, the morale of the crew. Uh, and uh, something good. Right, so we seem to have lost those coastal defence boats. We'll leave them hopefully further behind as we try and creep out of Belfast uh, for good. And um, yeah, I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Okay, we've done it. Right, we've managed to get out of um, Belfast okay. Let's get the snorkel put down. We don't need that up whilst we're on the surface. Sun is coming up. Oh, look, there's fresh air coming in. Everyone is happy. Um, I think that's just residual water things coming through. There's nothing too much to worry about. Grand. All right, let's get Adam on the old radio, and we can we can report back that we sunk the two corvettes, heavily damaged a third, and uh, we should all be receiving tea and medals when we return. The cook seems to have a very jazzy um, shirt. Seems to be doing the rounds. Maybe it's like, you know, like a dunce's cap. If you get caught out doing something you shouldn't be doing, you get you have to wear the shirt. Contrail! Western approaches. Wait, wait, was that actually a contrail? Oh, it was. Okay, aircraft in the area, but contrail spotted. We might as well report that as we're here. Let's, um... Let's dive. Might as well get down, out of the way. There's no point um, chancing it with a with a with an aircraft coming in. But I think we should be okay. Good, right? We're going to start to make our way back to base. Um, it's going to be quite a long drive, I think. Uh, what have we got? Yeah, we've got to go all the way around Scotland and back up here to Bergen, which should be okay. Right? Let's let's get cracking then. Um, aircraft has dodged, so let's come up to periscope depth. Uh, maybe put the old snorkel up for a bit and um, make some distance. Uh, 7.20 in the morning, so it's not great. It's going to be um, dodging aircraft all day by the looks of it as we uh, wait for the cover of darkness. But that's fine. I'll see you in a little bit. Hi guys, welcome back. Right, we've made it back to port. Oh, what a what a mission. Right, that was... Um, that went okay, actually. That went okay. Let's go to the uh, leading officer, the BDU, and um, let them know that our success in the previous mission. There we go. Mission complete. Uh, tonnage sunk 12,377 tons. 12 days at sea, 22 hours. So that would be... It's a shame we didn't do a breakdown, but that would be those two corvettes in the harbour, uh, plus the three cargo ships we sunk just on the north northern Irish coast previously so um, 40,000 budget 100% uh, renowned <laughs> da -da -da. bit of a drum roll 225 XP earned by the captain in that round which is great if I bring you to headquarters you can see I've only got um, one guy doing accumulators too in that in the trip home we managed to um, complete the upgrades so um, we've got also got some level ups coming so have a shave and let's have a look at your skills so um, you got a gunnery skill what's this expert assignments performed to the officer 
in headquarters are done 35% faster. Okay, we've pretty much finished our um, upgrades now, which is well, it is what it is. Um, oh, okay, so Wolfgang is going to have some cooking skill, which is nice, and I think no, West leveled up as well. Yes, and he's going to have it, the expert. Grand. Okay, those things have been sorted. Let's go to the warehouse and get the upgrades we can for the boat. And um, he looks really thrilled, doesn't he? Really thrilled uh, we're back in town, you know. Um, toilets have been upgraded. We've got the Balkan Grap. That's grand. What we've got in the radio room? We've got the, uh, the Tunis, which is good. Um, conning Tower. Let's get the... The Term 4, which is a Tier 3 conning tower, it's fitted with two 20mm double-barreled AA guns on the conning tower and a 37mm automatic M42 U-gun on a separate platform. Hell yeah! We'll have that! We'll have that! Um, also, what else did we get? Anything in the engines? We've already got the radar coating, which is good. Electric engine, uh, accumulators 1, we can buy that. Tier 1 accumulators that their capacity increased by 25% compared to the default ones. Excellent. Um, and is that it? Is that it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look through the... Uh, anything else? Can't tell we've done. Um, let's see if there's anything... Oh, there's something else we did. I can't remember quite recall what it was. See, toilets are fine. I'm sure there was something else we did, but I just cannot remember for diesel engines, electric engines. No, I can't think of anything else. Okay, Grant. Um, while they're doing that, we might as well um, get torpedoes loaded, because Decoy, that was what we researched. Ah, that's where we got them. I knew there was something else. Right, let's get some T3 torp torpedoes. Get these loaded in here. Now, I don't think... Um, I think Torpedo Tube 3 was empty, so we'll need to get one loaded, then we'll then uh, load an extra torpedo in. The rear is okay. Grand. Um, Items-wise... I think we'll come back to that. Um, I'm going to get another five med. You never know. We got those. Got part. Let's get some bold. Food wise, we're going to get all the veg and some cheese. And then once they've finished the repairs on the ship or the upgrades on the ship, we can obviously then get some more um, food transferred in. Um, which is fine. Ammunition, we don't have to worry about that just yet. Fuel, obviously we might as well top up now. Excellent, we got loads of cash. Right. Good stuff. We're going to wait eight days and see what the ship looks like after that. It's going to look amazing, I'm pretty sure. Day six. Day eight. Boom. They put the flag back. Let's have a look. That looks pretty amazing. So where's the captain? He's walking around. Okay, let's not wait for the captain then. Oh! Let's get Cola and take manual control and leave position. Excellent, right. Uh, let's come down off the Uzo and have a look at these, gu these guns. Look at this. This is the MG C32. Wow. Yeah, boy. Oh, still sounds pretty crap. So we got one of those, we've got two of those, and we've got the big gun on the back. So how do we get the big gun? Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, that also sounds... I thought that was going to be a little bit more exciting than a little pop gun. Anyway, we've got the new conning tower with, the, with more guns, which is fantastic. Uh, deck gun is still on the front, obviously. I'll put Carla. Yeah, uh, uh, go and play cards, Carla. You're okay. Um, got another off duty for seven days while we get some bits and bobs done. Um, oh yeah, Conan Tower's definitely got a, a 
a different look to it, which is grand. So uh, I'm going to finish off the supplies, and we'll go next time with um, some more supplies, and we'll see if they can give us a, an interesting mission to do. We don't need a mission, as I always have to say this. We have the free roam, but it's always nice to have you know an objective to go to to begin with. It usually points you in the right direction to find some targets. But we're going to leave it there for now. Thank you ever so much for watching this video of U-Boat with me. I've, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've certainly... Um, Love the fact that you are still enjoying these videos. And uh, if you if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up. That would be absolutely fantastic. And I will see you next time for more U-Boats. Thanks for watching.